Meaning, meaning I had a nice sunburn. Oh, the sun's going right back there. But I make this speech, right? I salute for probably an hour and a half, maybe more, but around that. Watch, if I'm off by two minutes, I'll say, he exaggerated. It was only an hour and 25 minutes. He exaggerated, he lied, he lied, he's a liar. These people are sick, the fake news. So then, so then, I finished saluting my final salute. I said, thank goodness, thank you very much. But think of it, so essentially almost 600 times. Now, the general says, sir, are you ready? I said, I'm ready, general. Where are we going now? Captain I said, I left early in the morning to get there. Now it's sort of late in the afternoon. A lot of these fakers were with us, so they know. He said, sir, we can now leave the stage. I said, great, General, let's go. I'll follow you here. And he goes like this, right here, sir. And the stage was higher than this one. And the ramp was probably 10 yards long. I say, General, now you got to understand, I have the whole Corps of Cadets looking at me. And I want them to love their president. I did this big thing. I love them. I love them. They're incredible. And they do. I said, General, I've got myself a problem, General because I'm wearing leather bottom shoes, which is good if you're walking on flat surfaces. It's not good for ramps. And if I fall down, look at all those press back there, look at that. And this was a steel ramp. You all saw it, because everybody saw it. This was a steel ramp. It had no handrail. It was like an ice skating ramp. And I said, General, I have a problem. And he didn't understand that at first. I said, there's no way. You understood? I just saluted almost 600 times. I just made a big speech. I sat for other speeches. I'm being baked. I'm being baked like a cake. I said, General, there's no way I can make it down that ramp without falling on my ass, General. I have no railing. General. It's true. So I said, is there like something else around? Sir, the ramp is ready to go. Grab me, sir, grab me. I didn't really want to grab him. You know why? Because I said, that'll be a story too. <laughs> so now I have a choice. I can stay up there for another couple of hours and wait till I'm rescued. <laughs> or I can go down this really steep, really, 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 it's an ice skating rink, it's brutal. So I said, General, get ready, because I may grab you so fast. <laughs> because I can't fall with the fake news watcher. <laughs> if I fall, I remember when President Ford fell out of the plane. You remember? I remember when another president, nice man, threw up in Japan. And they did slow motion replays. <laughs> true. Right? It's true. I don't want that, General. Now he's standing there, big strong guy, and he's got these shoes, but they're loaded with rubber on the bottom. Because I looked, the first thing I did, I looked at his shoes. Then I looked at mine. Very, very slippery. So I end up saying, okay, General, let's go. I will only grab you if I need you. That's not a good story. Falling would be a disaster. It turned out to be worse than anything. It would have been better off if I fell and slid down the damn ramp. <laughs> right? So, so what happens is I start the journey inch by inch, right? 
was really bent over, too. I didn't like that. You know, I didn't like this picture. This picture, I'm sure, will be an ad by the fakers. So I was bent over, right? We finally reached almost the end, and the fake news, the most dishonest human beings, they cut it off. You know why? Because when I was 10 feet short, I said, General, I'm sorry, I'm not, and I ran down the rest, right? I looked very handsome. That, that was the only good thing. In almost every instance, it ends just before I run. And they said, here was the number one trending story. I called my wife. I said, how good was that speech? I thought it was a, hey, look, I will tell you when I make good ones and bad ones. Like so far tonight, I'm average. Okay. But we're having fun. We're having fun. So far tonight. But I called my wife and I said, how good was it, darling? She said, you're trending number one. I said to our great first lady, I said, let me ask you a question. Was it that good, the speech, that I'm trending number one? Because I felt it was really good. No, no, they don't even mention the speech. They mention the fact that you may have Parkinson's disease. They say there's something wrong with our president. I'll let you know if there's something wrong, okay? I'll let you know if there's something. I'll tell you what, there's something wrong with Biden, that I can tell you. So, so then my wife said, well, it wasn't only the ramp. Did you have water? I said, yeah. I was speaking for a long time. I didn't want to drink it, but I wanted to wet my lips a little bit. You know, you're drinking for, you're working hard up there with the sun pouring down on you. I love this location, the sun's like this. This way they save on lighting, right? That's why they did it probably. So what happens is I said, what does it have to do with water? They said, you couldn't lift your hand up to your mouth with water. I said, I just saluted. 600 times like this. And this was before I saluted. So what's the problem? She said, well, I know what you did. You had on a very good red tie that's a sort of expensive. It's silk because they, they look better. They have a better sheen to them. And I don't want to get water on the tie. And I don't want to drink much. So I lift it up. The water. I see you have a little glass of water. Where the hell did this water come from? Right. Where did it come from? And I look down on my tie, because I've done it. I've taken water, and it spills down into your tie. It doesn't look good for a long time. And frankly, the tie is never the same. So I put it up to my lip, and then I say, because I don't want it to, just in case. And they gave me another disease. Them white supremacy, the neo Nazis. He hasn't condemned the darn thing. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. Throne of light on a throne of.